Hey guys, I've been working on a live stream setup without a budget. Um, I've used some personal equipment to get this up and running, um, but I uh, just kind of wanted to show you how I did a multi-cam setup with a single camera for our live stream. Um, so as you can see, I'm going to get closer here so you can see the output better. I can, I can cut between different, here's my wide shot, I can cut in for a close-up or a medium shot of either the pastor or of myself as I'm leading worship. Um, I can cut back to a wide shot. I can cut to where our person who does our welcome stands. He stands right in this area, so I can cut there. Uh, if I have someone leading, one of my worship team members who stands here, if he's leading a song, I can cut to him. So we've got a closer up shot of him. And then I can do the same when our keyboardist is leading, I can cut in closer with her. And so I've got this multi-cam setup um, using a single camera. And the way I did that, I've got a G85 up here. And I've got it in 4K mode. And it's going into a 4K capture card and coming into Streamlabs OBS in 4K. And so my stream is in 1080p. And with my 1080p stream, it's taking this 4K image and downscaling it to 1080p. But then for these different cropped shots that I have, I'm cropped in roughly 50%. And so I have pretty close to a 1080p image uh, from the sensor for these different shots. So whenever it outputs to the stream, all of these shots look very similar in quality. Um, I've also got a multi, or I've got a full screen ProPresenter output, so I can cut the ProPresenter right here. And actually, for my lower thirds, I currently am running ProPresenter six. I don't have ProPresenter seven, and uh, so the way I have achieved this is I'm using a program on the iMac that converts the Siphon to SD um, to uh, NDI, and then I'm sending the NDI feed three different times into uh, my Streamlabs OBS software. I'm sending it once where it's full screen, just like this. And then I'm sending it once where I'm cropping just the top third of this image. So this area where you see I'm putting this hand back and forth is what's creating this background portion of my lower third. And then I have a third instance of my output where I'm cropping just the center out this right here. I'm cropping the center out and that is my layer that's right here in the middle. And so what I'm able to do is I'm able to take my main outputs that I have uh, in the room and uh, I'm able to still keep that the way it needs to look for our live services um, but for online I'm able to convert it into a lower third. Um, and so the way that looks, let me switch over to this ProPresenter app. So like if during worship, we're going through a song, then you can see this is how my lower thirds look for our live stream. But in the room, you know, it still looks the way I need it to look for in the room. And then when it comes to a video, so if I need to play back a video, see here if if I don't go to full screen you'll see it starts playing the video kind of incorrect in the lower thirds but as long as my operator switches over to my full full screen scene then I've got my full screen video exactly how it's playing inside the room but for the live stream and then when the video is over if I'm saying I'm going back into a song, you know, build my life when I come back to my either my wide shot or my close up of me or close up of one of my band members, I've got my lower thirds exactly the way I need them in the live stream while everything stays exactly the way I need it in the room. 
So for those of you who cannot afford to upgrade to uh, ProPresenter 7 right now, or for those of you um, who can't afford multiple cameras and you want multiple camera angles, uh, you could do it with a 4K camera, a 4K capture card. Uh, use the Streamlabs OBS for a free streaming software that's been working really well for me. Um, and then I actually send my stream to Restream.io and I'm able to then broadcast it to both Facebook and YouTube for free. And so this entire setup, I'm not paying any kind of subscriptions or anything for the setup. Um, I originally tried doing the setup with two Macs, uh, our iMac for ProPresenter and my MacBook Pro for the streaming computer, and the laptop just really struggled to handle everything properly. So I actually have, uh, I took my PC from home and uh, brought it up here. And it's got, it's an older PC. It's got a eight year old graphics card, a GTX 660 Ti. But um, what's nice about it is that Nvidia graphics cards um, have encoding, uh, built in encoding in their GPUs. And so I was able to take the load off of the CPU and put it on the graphics card. And so now my stream runs like butter. Um, everything's been working, working really nice. And so, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. You can see even like my graphics, the way I have it set up. Thanks for joining. It can be in lower thirds or I can cut over to full screen, see it in full screen. I can do the same even uh, like with my countdown. Um, I can have a full screen countdown just like this. Or I can do a lower thirds countdown if I want to show the countdown and someone on the stage at the same time. And... Uh, so yeah, yeah, I've been been really happy with um, how well this is working. I haven't seen anyone else do a multi-cam with a single cam setup in a church setting. Um, I also have not seen anyone create lower thirds the way I have. Uh, I'm sure that people have done it. I've just not ever seen anyone do it online. So uh, if anyone is interested in a tutorial on how I've set everything up, let me know. And I'll try to... Uh, find the time to um, you know to set all this or you know make some videos to to show you guys how I accomplished this